Hello everyone, Ice Cool Tech here. Now we're going to be taking a look to see how the iPhone 11 has been handling the latest beta release of iOS 14, iOS 14.4 Beta 2. Anyways, let's get straight into the video. Overall performance while running iOS 14.4 Beta 2 has been great, although I can't really say that's entirely unexpected seeing how this iPhone is just one year old. Apps still launch super fast, web pages load up with no issues, games run flawlessly, etc. Now, RAM management is not having any harder of a time either while on iOS 14.4 Beta 2. I experience really no reloads when using the iPhone 11. Now, this is also as expected as the iPhone 11 uses 4GB of RAM and of course that's paired with iOS's mostly fantastic RAM management. Now, animations, you know, it's really nice to have nothing bad to say regarding animations. You know, most of the time it's either stuttering this or missing that, you know, <coughs> iPhone 7 unlock animations. Um. Anyway, so yeah, all system animations have been incredibly smooth even on this latest beta release of iOS 14. Yeah, that's really all I have to say. Now, before I get into battery life, I should take a second to flex that my iPhone 11 is running off of a maximum battery capacity of 100% after almost a full year, and has never had a restart of course. Well, I'd certainly hope. The iPhone 11s don't even have the power management feature yet, so my iPhone 11 is certainly not being performance throttled, so yeah, that's fun. Now, battery life since updating to this beta of iOS 14.4 has not improved, nor has it gotten worse, so you can pretty much expect the same battery performance on beta 2 as you had on beta 1 or early releases of iOS 14. Now, Apple has been killing the iPhone 11's battery since mid-iOS 13, and it has not gotten any better since. Now, standby time is fine as well, well, as fine as it's gonna get. As expected, I'm only noticing a drain of about 3-5% overnight, now keep in mind that your battery performance can and will most likely vary from mine. Now as for overheating, I rarely notice my iPhone 11 getting warm, let alone hot. Some users are reporting iPhone 11 overheating, however it does not seem entirely too common, so there's really nothing to worry about. Now while there isn't much change in overall performance, battery, or overheating, we still make our way to the main question of should you update. Well, it does depend. I would not recommend installing this beta firmware on your iPhone 11 if it is your daily driver or primary device. However, if it is a secondary device or you have one just lying around, then I'd say go for it. Alright everyone, that is all I have for this video. Now, if you do have any questions or you just like to say hi, make sure to leave a comment down below. Of course, you can definitely make sure to follow me on Twitter using the link in the- whoa, what did I just say? Using the link in the description. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.